City Manager Eric Chungate. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of council. 13A1 is the appointment of Mr. Gregory Gunn as the City of Oak Park official historian. Madam Mayor, I'm gonna turn it over to you because I know you have um, some more information to share. Exactly. Um, uh, uh, we have in our audience tonight, Jack Lessonberry, who had been a uh, state of Michigan historian and suggested perhaps the city of Oak Park should have a, its own historian. And um, we met Mr. Gunn and were extremely impressed with him uh, and um, invited him to join us. Um, we have been in Oak Park working very hard to build a better future for our residents and exciting things are coming down the road. But it's also important that we learn about and honor our city's fascinating and unique past. We have become a multi-ethnic, multicultural community, and that is one of our greatest strengths. We're fighting battles and coping with challenges today, but so did the men and women who built Oak Park years ago. Some were black, some were white, many were Jewish back then. A century ago, this wasn't even a village, and much of it was a swamp, with less than a thousand people living in a few scattered houses. They began meeting in one of their garages to try and see how Oak Park could become a thriving city with drains and plumbing and paved streets and electricity. Well, it wasn't easy, but they did it. Today, we are still thankful for them and for all the others who helped make this community what it is now. To help teach us about and celebrate our past, we will now have an official historian for the first time. Gregory Gunn is a retired educator, a proud resident of the city of Oak Park, and a serious student of history. Luckily, he has agreed to help us learn more about and share in celebrating Oak Park's very rich past. We are asking him to serve a two-year term with options to continue. The job description, what does a uh, historian do? in a city, celebrating our shared past, educating residents and friends, especially young people, is important for any community. Accordingly, Oak Park's official historian will have as part of his or her duties, informing the city about important upcoming dates in the city's history, such as the 80th anniversary of Oak Park becoming a city in 2025 and the 100th anniversary of its incorporation as a village in 2027. The historian will then work with such officials or committees that may be designated to develop appropriate ways to commemorate these events. Additionally, the historian may work with a librarian to suggest and develop exhibits to commemorate our history. The historian will also be involved in suggesting ways in which Oak Park can observe important national and world holidays, such as Juneteenth and Holocaust Remembrance Day, and do so in a way which the city's various groups and learn, can learn about and share in traditions they may possibly not know much about. The historian shall suggest ways of marking historic sites in the community and for honoring individuals and businesses who have significantly contributed to the city's rich heritage. The historian shall also reach out to Oak Park Public Schools in an effort to involve them in celebrating our heritage. The historian may also suggest other ways to help promote the city's heritage or be asked to take part in other ways not mentioned above. The historian will be appointed for a term of two years and serve at the pleasure of the mayor and the city council of Oak Park. There are no term limits to the number of terms that can be served. Um, so I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Gunn up to uh, speak to us for, uh, give us a few words and um, we welcome him. As uh, good evening. 
Um, Madam Mayor, Madam Mayor Pro Tem, City Council, uh, City Attorney, City Clerk, City Manager, other distinguished uh, members, and uh, to my friend, and I consider him, uh, even at my age, a mentor, Jack Lessonberry. I just want to say that uh, I did plan to have a speech, but this is just too precious. I'm in awe. I'm just in awe. I never saw this coming. Um, I'm so humbled by such a, a you know, very nice, wonderful appointment. And um, I just want to say that I appreciate the mayor. I appreciate Jack Lessonberry. I appreciate the city council. It, everyone that is uh, affiliated with the administration back here also. And um, I, uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm very appreciative. I've always been a lover of history. And um, I used to say one time I eat, sleep, and dream history. But uh, like I said, I appreciate the mayor. I had the opportunity of meeting her. It was just unusual. Um, two weeks after I retired from Detroit Public School District, I was over there running over at the, uh, the Oak Park track. And that, it was early in the morning. And when I was finished, I happened to see the mayor. I said, that's the mayor. And I went over to her and we just started talking. And uh, after a few moments, she said to me, uh, Mr. Gunn, we're going to have to put you back to work. <laughs> I'll never forget those words. And um, I was just so elated. She escorted me over here, and I guess the rest is history. And uh, we've shared uh, wonderful times together, uh, her and Jack. And I, I just appreciate this. I'm, like I said, I'm in all, I'm all day today. I was quiet. My wife could tell you that I was just quiet. It was you could hear a pin drop around the house and. So I just want to say to the mayor, uh, to the mayor pro tem, city clerk, the, uh, the council, uh, the manager, everyone here and part of the administration that I accept this appointment humbly and I um, hope to uh, do the best job that I can do for the city of Oak Park because I love this city. I've been here for quite a while and all I can just say is thank you. And um, there's a quote from, um, Robert Kennedy, um, he was here in Michigan on May the 15th, 1968. And it so happened that I got in touch with the little girl who was four years old then. Robert Kennedy stretched his hand out and the little girl shook, uh, shook his hand. And then I think it was about a week ago, I got in touch with the uh, young lady who's, uh, of course, uh, almost a senior citizen now. And, and we talked and I said, wow, that's just part of what I like, it's history. So there's a quote, and I just want to compare this quote to the mayor and also to Jack. Um, Robert Kennedy said, uh, some people see things as they are, and they ask why. I dream of things that never were and say, why not? Thank you. <laughs>